Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're gearing up for the NFL Draft just about two weeks away, and boy, do we have some excitement brewing, especially for the Minnesota Vikings. There's a buzz in the air, and I wouldn't be shocked if they're making moves as we speak. Rumor has it they might even snag a top quarterback in the upcoming draft. Yep, you heard it right. For the first time ever, they could be trading up into the top 10 picks. They've got the 11th pick and the 23rd pick from the Houston Texans in their pocket. Now, some names are floating around, J.J. McCarthy, Drake May, but let's dive into what the GM has to say about it. By the way, even though I bleed Green Bay green and gold, gotta give props to the Vikings GM, coolest guy in the league. Speaking of the Vikings, let's talk about their stacked offense and the impressive moves Brian Flores is making on the defensive end. But hey... Before we get into all that, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing for your daily dose of NFL updates. Vikings fans, you rock, especially from this cheesehead's perspective. Let's aim for 500 likes on this video. It's the off season, and we could all use a little boost. I was just reading this article on Bleacher Report ranking teams' situations for rookie quarterbacks, and guess who's at the top? You got it, the Minnesota Vikings. They've got everything a rookie QB could dream of. So buckle up, folks, because this draft season is about to get wild. Now let's talk about some potential landing spots for these quarterbacks. I've even heard whispers about the fifth pick going to the Los Angeles Chargers. But here's the thing. Quarterbacks tend to slide down the draft board, and it's anyone's guess who might slip. Personally, I've got my eye on Drake May, but J.J. McCarthy could be the one to watch. My biggest worry for the Vikings? Other teams swooping in and snatching their guy. Imagine the Broncos or the Seahawks making a move for J.J. We'll dive deeper into J.J. McCarthy later. But let me tell you, he seems tailor-made for the Vikings. With Kevin O'Connell at the helm and weapons like Justin Jefferson and the underrated Jordan Addison, this offense is primed for success. Don't forget about TJ Hawkinson, a two-time Pro Bowler at tight end, returning from injury. Now here's a fun fact. The Vikings have never drafted a quarterback in the top 10. Could this be the year they rewrite history? It's looking likely, folks. Who knows? By the time you're watching this, the deal might already be done. Either way, the Vikings have one of the most solid offensive lines in the league, with four out of five starters returning. Exciting times ahead for Minnesota. The Minnesota Vikings had a standout offense in 2022, ranking in the top eight for both scoring and yards. Even after Kirk Cousins went down with an Achilles injury in week eight, they remained a top 10 unit in yards. That speaks volumes about Kevin O'Connell's coaching prowess. He's one of the sharpest offensive minds out there. Now let's entertain a hypothetical scenario. Say the Vikings draft Drake May or J.J. McCarthy, but they're not quite ready to start by week one. Enter Sam Darnold. He might not be a superstar quarterback commanding a hefty multi-million dollar contract, but he's solid and reliable. There's a reason O'Connell brought him in. Darnold's been underrated and underappreciated but he can definitely get the job done if needed. Now about your GM, seriously, one of the best in the league. In a recent presser, he made some intriguing points. Just because something's risky doesn't mean you should shy away from it. They've had their eyes on this quarterback class for a while and they've got their favorites. So while the temptation to trade up might be strong, there's also value in holding onto picks 11 and 24. It's all about finding the right balance between risk and reward. Exciting times ahead for the Vikings. Let's dive deeper into the quarterback situation. If the Vikings have their eye on someone, they won't hesitate to trade up to get them. I mean, every mock draft out there seems to suggest the same thing. I can't recall one where the Vikings stick with pick number 11. It's all about getting your guy. Offering both first round picks and maybe even a future fifth rounder should seal the deal. If Arizona's keen on Marvin Harrison Jr., swap picks with the Chargers at number five. Now, on to the roster. Offensively, things look solid. J.J. McCarthy could be the breath of fresh air they need. 
youthful, dynamic, and cost-effective. Let's face it, Cousins' mega contract doesn't seem as sensible anymore, especially with rising stars like Jefferson and Addison. Plus, snagging Aaron Jones was a steal, even if it stings a bit. Defensively, there's a lot to be excited about. Newcomers like Tillery and Greenard, along with the return of Cashman and the emergence of Pace Jr., are reasons to be optimistic. Sure, losing Hunter hurts, but the defense is getting younger and cheaper. Byron Murphy and C. Bynum are solid in the secondary, and with Brian Flores calling the shots, the defense is in good hands. So, if McCarthy or May hit the ground running, paired with this offense and defense, coached by Kevin O'Connell, the future looks bright for the Vikings. All right, that's a wrap for me. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let me know your draft day plans for the Vikings. Peace out.